everybody. Today I wanted to show you, I grabbed uh, my little bag here and I pulled out, they were easy to get to because I carry these in rotation during the week all the time. Always have. These are, uh, this video is on my favorite compact fixed blade, fixed blade knives. And these are the ones that you carry on your belt, not the ones you slip in your pocket. Although with some of these I've slipped in my pocket too also. You can even with the clip. Uh, I'll do a fixed blade knife front pocket carry uh, video probably tomorrow. I'll do it sometime this week. You know, fixed blades that you can carry in your pocket. But today I wanna focus on these because actually one of them I carried this morning and I'll go ahead and show that real, here we go. This is the uh, Condor Mountaineer Trail Intent. Made in El, Sal El Salvador. I love the sheath. It's horizontal carry or this way. Now this morning when I went to the store, I carried it belt loop. I, I seem to carry it more often that way. And only about that much shows at the bottom. But it's very compact. Now what this is, it's not to conceal them, but it ju they're just small fixed blade knives that you can carry and nothing real bulk, bulky, you know, shown in public, you know, walking in a store with something like this off your side. Uh, I like to keep it kind of uh, less intimidating, but these are useful tools. You know what I mean? So that's one of my favorites uh, right there. I'm not gonna tell you what my favorite is. I rotate them, they're all my favorites. Okay, this is the, the uh, K-Bar TDI. This is the Hinder Hellfire. Okay, so Tonto Blade, shipping right there. And this is made for self-defense. Uh, I believe it's Zytel Scales. It has that angle for close quarters. This is to be carried on your weak side. Uh, I just love it. This is my least favorite carry though, right now until I figure out a way to change it. Uh, I tried a couple of times, I'm not sure. I'll figure out a way though. Uh, but this is the only way you can carry it. The clip goes that way, and that's it. So it sits up high, but still underneath the shirt, and there you go. And you release it right here, and just a fantastic everyday carry self-defense knife. That's K-Bar, Hellfire Hinder. This is my very first Topps knife, period. Yep, this is my very first Topps knife. Uh, this is the Wolf Pulp, and I probably carry this more than any other tops. It's so compact. If you see the way I have the uh, clip, I carry it on the midsection on my back, on my belt, and I have used this all a lot. I carry, I carry this as actually a third knife I carried at work. Besides my large fixed blade knife, I had my folding knife, and also carry this on midsection of my back. It was either that or my Azula, uh, Azula, S Azula in my front left pocket. That's why we'll get into those fixed blades in the pocket. I think it'd be kind of cool. But yeah, this is cool. 1095 steel, look how fat. It's got nice and chubby, nice place. But I got medium sized hands. Yeah, it's small, but yeah, it's doable. Okay. Let's see, this is one of my favorites and I also throw this quite a bit. In fact, today, maybe I'll see if I get a chance weather-wise, I'll see if I can throw a compact fixed blade knife. This is the Pentagon FX, Pentagon FX Covert Blackout. This is a dagger double edge. So we know that there's only one reason to have this. This is self-defense. Scales are removable. This exact same thing as the large Pentagon FX, except in a smaller size. This is one of my favorite. You can tell I've used this quite a bit. Just a fantastic, fantastic knife. Uh, very well balanced. And I do throw this on a week, uh, monthly basis anyway. Okay, got a couple of more tops here. Okay, this one I just got not too long ago, so I only used it, I carried it uh, for a little bit at work. I think I used it uh, just to open up boxes, but this is the Topps three-pointer. Has that flat grind, 
You can see it looks hardly used. I think I just opened up some boxes with it. Let's see how nice that is. Got jipping right here, that flat grind. It's got the scout carry, the leather straps. That's what it comes with. And these are great uh, utility hunting knives. You know, I carry it to have that little extra fixed blade knife. That's all. You know what I mean? Love that. That's the Tops three pointer. Here's another Tops. Now this one, I have. To, I carry. I don't have to. You can carry horizontal. I just found it kind of like it's just unbalanced, uncomfortable on my belt. It, it sticks there, but. I usually just carry it that way. And again, about this much is showing underneath my shirt and it's right there. And I love this thing. This is the Topps Desert Sun. I've had this quite a while. I've used it quite a bit. In fact, I need to sharpen it. Check that out. Fantastic everyday carry these things are, people. I'm telling you, I'm just trying to sh share with you. I think they're awesome. If you like them, fantastic. Okay, this one I got not too long ago. Uh, I got a good deal on it because they introduced it. I'm not sure if they even make it anymore. But this is a white knuckler. They were changing from D2 steel. They still are making sale, having sales, $99. I got the C7, white knuckler C7, which is a larger version of this. This is the C5. It's um, like a biker trucker knife. I got it, uh, they were getting rid of their D2, so I got it for like $99, okay? And they, I got this for a good price. It was an uh, introduction. This is their C5 Redliner Compact. But check out that sheath. Now, White Knuckler is totally USA made. All, all the hardware, the leather materials, and the craftsmanship, the people that make it is USA made. Check that sheath out. You can carry it horizontal or belt loop. And check it out. There's your red liner. And placement for the fingers. You got jipping right here. Check that blade out. That's a serious blade right there, folks. What a great box cutter. Okay. This is 154 CM steel. This is what they're using now. And... I just absolutely love it. I love the size. So when you get your finger in there and your thumb on that jipping, I mean, look at that. It's like a Persian sweep right there, isn't it? Now, if, I'll, just briefly, these are my favorite carries on a self-defense uh, thing on these things. Somebody told me not too long ago, I had a, somebody comment on my Sog Gnarl. It was small. You know, they got the instinct. You got this. And he says, uh, he said, th that's not a self-defense knife. Well, sure it is. If you know the points on the body, if you know the striking points, you can do a lot of damage with these little razor blade type knives. Keep your knife sharp and you're on to something. You can do something and, and get the hell out of there or you can do something and the person's going to go in shock right in your face. You're going to change colors. I'll tell you that. But these, uh, don't let the small size fool you. You know how to hold it. It's just like an extension of your weapon, empty hand. You know what I mean? Check that out. Of course, that's self-defense. But these are fixed blade knives. They're tools. I carry them every day just to have an extra tool on hand because I always am carrying this. This is my Buck 112 Ranger Sport. I just got it. Absolutely love it. That is a great self-defense knife too, folks. If you know the strike points. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. These are my favorites. I use them in rotations uh, during the week, every time I go out. Yep, along with this. Y'all take care and sog out.